What you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Hell no. Well, I don't think so either. Well, to me, man, they not fair to the hip hop community or music business or African American and Hispanic. People of color that's in the entertainment business, they choose us as being a minority that we come from the hood and that we always got hood in us. You know, even if we do have a degree or anything under our belts and trades and we in the corporate business, they still treat us as the minority. minority like Minority. We, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. You know? Yes. Bleep. And that's, you know, it's sad. It's a real sad day in New York, you know? I'm ashamed of New York government, ashamed of New York policies, I'm ashamed of New York cable companies. I'm ashamed of New York, period. You should be ashamed of yourself, New York. You make them boys from the South take your shit, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. I hope y'all catch this and really see what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's, it's real dirty out here. Money and politics, those two things, you know, is it's murder. You know what I mean? But I'm signing out now. I hope you catch on to what I'm saying. You know, we'll catch you on the next interview when we have more of this topic. So I Peace. I got more to say because <clears throat> I'm a community activist. Everybody's always telling me I'm the mayor of 111 Avenue. They tell me go for politics. That's no. I want to cross the line because politics is full of it. Okay? My mom always says a good politician, you know, a dead politician is, is the best politician because you don't hit up BS anymore. And so what happened was, um, that's how you have to help your community because the city won't do it. You can see what's happening in Queens. The buses are lousy, especially the 41. Or... New York, just shame on you, New York. Just shame yeah. on you, you know? It's not about a policy of what people are doing, it's what uh, politicians are doing, you know? And it's not even only your politicians. It's certain people, when things are there, they're not taking part in doing what's there, you know? Outsourcing their jobs, what have you. You know, imagine you have a job. You work that job, then you lose that job. You go to unemployment, you get another job. You work that job, but that job is not accordingly to fit what you went to school for and pay all of this money to go to school for. Then you gotta turn around, go get another job. When you get another job, you work there for two months because your, your work habits of what you was trained to do is not applying to the other job that you're going to. Now that you go to this job, and you can't find yourself to fit in equitably into this job, you have to go back on unemployment. Then you have to wait six months, I mean, excuse me, six weeks to eight weeks to get your money. You know? People are out there looking for jobs. People are out there in the hip hop community doing music, making money. But New York City, I gotta say, man, I'm ashamed of you. Mayor Bloomberg, I'm ashamed of you. Giuliani, I've been ashamed of you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Dog. Peace out. Peace. Say something, Julie. Huh? Say something. Say? Nah, it's a wrap.